Hi, my name is Hugh Nguyen. Uh, I'm on my internship year at Incarnation Church in Glendale. I will share with you my reflection on the Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the Gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven, and took a seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them, and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel reminds me of a story of a devout Catholic man. He's on a hike one day, and he sees a bear approaching him. And he turns to the Lord and prays, Lord, make this bear Catholic. The next thing you hear, <laughs> the bear says, Bless us, O Lord. Okay, sorry. Th that was a lame joke, I know. But it illustrates the point. The faith works, the bear becomes Catholic. As an intern, after having spent almost a year at a parish, I find that people are hungry for faith, faith stories. They're not very impressed with my knowledge. I mean, maybe, well, <laughs> that doesn't say much. There's not much to begin with. But the point remains, they're more impressed with testimonies, the personal stories that illustrate that Jesus is alive today. And they love it. They're very inspired by these stories. And they eat them up like candies. So as someone who is discerning the priesthood, I find that being a witness is very, very important to having an effective and fulfilling ministry. I. I think that it's also very hard. It's hard to be a witness of Jesus. Yes, you might think that we live in a free country, so there's, there's not going to be persecution like the, the, um, the first disciples. But no, it's, it's a battle of light and darkness. So becoming a witness of Jesus is hard, but that is what people are craving for. I think there's a great hunger for those people right now. And the priesthood opens the door to that. Thank you.